thought has to go into doing acronyms. I'm not very good with them. And mental health has quite a few letters. They suggest that we look at motivating each other in a positive way. Exercising regularly because there is in fact a hormonal aspect to exercise. It releases um, endorphins that help to regulate your emotional well-being and I'm here to attest to that. Nurturing love and understanding, to be nurturing, be loving, be understanding where it is appropriate, empathetic. Taking care of yourself, again, goes back to some of those other matters like exercising and, and um, always believing in yourself, always believing in yourself. So believe that you can do it, believe you are capable, make the effort. Believing it alone doesn't work, of course, you have to believe it and do the work, but believe in yourself, have the confidence. L is learning to self-soothe. So learning how to, how to help to calm yourself. How to also support your own self if, if, um, if you're feeling down. Having healthy habits is H. Establishing priorities. Again, very important and often repeated by me in this ministry. We have so much to do that prioritizing is important for us to get the best value from our own activities in limited time that we have every day. Always remember that your struggles do not define you. Your struggles don't define you. They are struggles. You are you. You can manage them with and with and with the help of others in some cases, with the help of the good Lord above in others, and with your own self strength and confidence and any support um, mechanism that you have around you. And on the matter of uh, mechanisms around you, I just want to remind that the Ministry of Health uh, has some helplines and services that are available that maybe weren't available before. That if you have issues or uh, concerns or things that you're struggling with or you know someone who uh, you think might be struggling with something and they may not be comfortable um, speaking or they may not know of someone that they're comfortable speaking to about private matters, that you can direct them to these call lines, direct them to these helplines and um, there are trained personnel available to, to help them in a private way. Listen unconditionally. This is another one, so this is L, we're almost there. Listen unconditionally. Sometimes people just need a listening ear. They don't need you to solve the issue for them. They just want to be able to unburden and that, um, that itself is a helpful process. T, we're again almost, almost there. Take time for self-care and relaxation. That comes back to other things take take some time I know I don't always take that advice but <laughs> but but I try <laughs> I do take time for self-care and relaxation and then H is helping in seeking positive and achievable goals helping in seeking positive and achievable goals when you're able to set small things in order to get to bigger things it helps you feel a sense of accomplishment and a greater confidence in moving on to other things. And I saw a great image the other day that I, I would just share with you. It was um, two people at the foot of two very long ladders. And one had rungs that were very close together and one had rungs that were very far apart. And the one on the um, narrow rung ladder was climbing up at a speed and the other one with the big ladder, the big rung ladder, was jumping to try to reach the first rung. And the simple message underneath was the importance of small steps. That sometimes you just need to be able to take the small steps and that will take you faster and further than you had even recognized. But yet sometimes when you try to take the massive at the first, it's so hard to get done that you can't feel or find the footing to take the next. So sometimes be gentle with yourself and take the smaller steps first, and then you'll develop the strength to take the larger. So I encourage you, I really do encourage you to, um, to think about some of these things. If you only remember one or two because they're, they're, you only see one or two as relevant to you, then that's, um, then that's fine because really these talks are about people taking what they want or need. Mm -hmm.